Well, dinner scenes, you know, are, are wonderful in theory. <laughs> they are, uh, they were at the heart of the show. And, and, um, and, and, and there were many things about them that were, that were, that were interesting. First of all, they're, they could be a nightmare to shoot, right? Uh, they are, they take a long time. So by the time the dinner scene is over, everybody is just in a foul, you know, ready to just, just get, just want, you just want to get out. Um, but we had to choose our seats, right? We had to, we, you know, at a dinner table, people sit in the same place, right? Um, and so we, I, re, I forget how we exactly chose our seats, although it might have had to do with our first directors sort of figuring out where they wanted everybody to be. But I remember choosing mine because I was so fond of Will. I made the, the incredibly naive mistake of placing myself between Will Gear and Cammie Cobbler, who was maybe seven or eight. I got between an adorable and beautiful child actress and a scene-stealing machine, right? Um, and it's a wonder that I managed to survive any of those, that I was even noticed in any of those scenes between Cammie and Will. It was just insane that I did that. Um, uh, and then there would be directors who would come in for the first time and they would come for a dinner scene and they'd have it all figured out in their heads, but they'd have everybody sitting in different places. And we always had to say, you can't do that because this is where we sit. This is our home. This is our dinner table. And this is where we sit. And it wasn't easy for people at first because it was our home. I mean, that was our dining room and our living room, and we lived in it five days a week, nine months a year. Um, and it's different. I mean, it's the same if, you, if it's a police station, or but there's something about it being your home. It has a very particular proprietary feeling that you get. So we would have to really talk with these directors, and they'd have to understand that there were certain things. When people sat around the radio, you know, uh, how people behaved when they came down for breakfast in the morning, you know, you you you. They had to, to some degree, uh, and it wasn't because we were just like the regulars and we were telling you how it was going to be. These were the patterns of life and home. These were the home patterns. And, uh, and we, we held on to them. And people had to, had to be malleable enough to shoot their scenes around the sort of family patterns that we'd established.